I'm currently working on a new film product called Crystal Silk. This material, if you look at it under the microscope, has a single layer of glass beads. And so when you touch it and interact with the film, it's very smooth. And because it's made of glass, it's also scratch resistant and stain resistant. So it's currently being used in the electronics industry. I think I first realized I wanted to go into science Back in fifth grade, I was inspired by my teacher to apply for a scholarship to go to space camp. Probably my biggest hobby has been sports related and being a part of a team has really kind of carried me through my life. Um, seeing how you have to work together with other people to accomplish a common goal directly applies to what we do in science and here at 3M. In graduate school, I worked on self-healing materials and polymers, so we would Pre, um, we would purposely incorporate materials into a polymer that would break and then heal back together. I love the hands-on tangible part of science. I like that you can have an idea or a concept and then go try it out. So I was asked a couple years ago if I was interested in participating in the Discovery Education 3M Young Scientist Challenge and I just jumped at the opportunity. I really love inspiring and working with the next generation of scientists. I then extracted the microbes and placed them in a PEMFC shell. I love the transformation that from making the video at the beginning Hi, hello. Hi, Roma. to really developing and fleshing out the details of the product and then that final presentation in the fall is so exciting because you can see what all the hard work and time has been put into this project. I would say also never give up because you're going to have a lot of challenges along the way. Scientists fail a lot and you have to be okay to keep pressing on and take what you learn from each failure and move it one step forward the next time you try something.